Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the star drop in the knot. If you're new here, my name's Brendan, and on this channel, I make videos about all things aerial. If you find these tutorials helpful, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you're notified every time I upload. All right, let's get started. And remember, you've got this. First up, you're going to need a knot. I do this in a similar way to a wrist lock, but you finish off by grabbing the tail and pulling it back through, making sure you have enough that it can't slip out. Now to do this move, we need to get into what I call the backpack position. There are a lot of different ways you can do that, but today I'm going to show you three. First up, we've got the plank entry. Separate the silks and invert, bringing your legs in between them and lower your hips down onto the knot. Then turn to one side and rotate through. For the knee hook entry, separate the silks, lift both legs up and over the right silk, rotate into sitting and then lower down. The easiest way to get into backpack is just to separate the silks and then put them on like a backpack. Alright, now that we've got our backpack on, I'm going to show you two different ways to wrap in for this drop. There are pros and cons to both, and I should also add that if you're doing this on hammock or sling, you obviously don't need to worry about the tail, but I'll talk more about that later. First up, we've got the crochet wrap. Once you're in sitting, lower down to backpack and then straddle invert over. You can then let go with your hands and crochet your legs from the outside in. Bend one knee and then reach up as high as you can. Bend the other knee and then hold on to both pole ends. You're then going to straighten your knees and pull yourself up using both your arms and your legs. Bring both shoulders through the silks and then re-grip with your thumbs facing down. Lean forwards and arch away and then you're ready to drop. When climbing up, you want to avoid using only your arms and especially in small increments as this will make it look like you're fighting against the silk and that you're not strong enough to climb up. Instead, when you sit up, make sure you reach as high as you possibly can and then pull with your arms and drive with your legs to make the transition smoother. This active lift becomes even more important in the next wrap I'm going to show you. Once you're in position and ready to drop, let go of the silks and then catch the pole ends on your way through. The next entry starts out the same with the straddle invert, but then you're going to hook your right knee over both silks. Arch away and then climb up above your knee. Bring your right shoulder through so the pole is on your back. The most important part of this entry is the lift up before you bring your shoulders through, especially for any male aerialists. Without getting too graphic, this lift ensures that the silks end up in the right position. You need to make sure you have one silk on either side of your groin before you do this drop or you will hurt yourself on the way down. When you're ready to drop, just let go and be ready to catch the pole ends. So what are the differences between these two wraps? I've lowered my silks so now I have a longer tail and I can show you. If you do this drop from a crochet wrap and you've got quite a long tail, it will end up over your shoulder like this. This is because with the crochet wrap, the tail ends up between the two pole ends of the silks. So what are your options? You could just pull the tail over your shoulder after the drop, but I don't think that looks very nice. I much prefer to re-invert, gather up the silks, and then roll back through. Just make sure your shoulders don't follow the silk through the middle or you'll fall out. If you want to avoid having to worry about the tail and what to do with it after the drop, then you'll probably prefer the second entry. This is because with the knee hook, the tail ends up to the side of the pole end, which means when you drop, there's no getting tangled. Just make sure your arms don't go too wide or the tail will end up over your shoulder. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. If you want to learn star drop on open silks, then check out the video in the bottom right corner. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Remember to stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!